This is a current generation VW Outlast 2024, guys. And this is a 2025 year VW Atlas coming in hot as a 2026 model year. And technically speaking, this will be the next generation VW Terramont Pro. The Terramont name is simply the name VW applies to the mid-size SUV outside of these countries, United States, Canada, and Chile. Right, so we all do know that this current generation Atlas stroke Terramont has been in manufacturing since 2017, which means it's already aging and approaching the end of a generational era. Hence, the need for the introduction of a fresh new generation VW Atlas. Actually, that should be the second generation, right? Let me bring back this clip so that you can take a second look at the 2024 VW Atlas here. And on this note, welcome to AutoStop once again. We do have design, technical and dimensional and powertrain cues to share with you. So stay with us and let's go through. Now reports coming in from China reaching us today from the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology leaked these images that we are going to mount here of the Terramont Pro launching in China at the 2025 model year. But this will only arrive at state side late 2025 next year as a 2026 model year of the video view atlas so let's start with design and the design is subject to individual perception which i think should be so but then we are not captivated by this front design style as a 2026 model year guys although this white car look look at this one appears to have a more aggressive outline styling package with larger front air vents you see that compared to the other one You've got blacked out detailing here where the detailing covers the blacked out side mirrors. You see that you've got black polished out body cladings. You've got the um, two tone um, color system with a blacked out rooftop and blacked out wheels here on this particular one. Now, there is a more subtle one that I'm going to put here, but let's get to the side profile where this thing gets interesting. And yes, looking at it, look at it from the side profile. You see a lot of XC90 and Grand Highlander cues in this design. So you are seeing the spread of arc wheels. This particular one has it with body cladding in the same color. You've got the flash door handles as opposed to the other one that we saw a slab side design that has become identical with brands like Volvo's recently updated three row SUV guys. And one more thing you do see is the eight spoke black and steel forged wheels on this one which is different from the all blacked out that we think is an R spec or R package on the earlier one that we showed now that said let's go and look at the rear end of this vehicle and the rear end is far less volvoish and you know it's, it's characterized by a, a full width panel into which you see pixel like led tail lights span across and you also see a straight slim LED light bar in a lower bumper, which makes it updated over the 2024 Atlas. So you can compare it side by side and tell that, yes, that makes it look updated here. We do have a few specifications, including exterior dimensions to share, which is more detail. But then before we proceed, if you enjoyed what you have seen so far up to this point, a sub to the channel will be greatly, greatly appreciated and a thumbs up will go a long way to energize us to do more. Now, at this point, let me launch this table to show you the technical dimensions of the Terramont Pro against the view of view Atlas that we had from 2024. And now, having raised this table here, you can tell that these vehicles are not that different in terms of dimensions. Now, the view of view Atlas from 2024 is 200.7 inches, which makes it 2.3 inches smaller than the video view Terramount Pro that is launching in China today. And if you look at the wheelbase and the, and the width, they are about the same, except that in height, the video view Atlas from 2024 is 0.1 inches taller than the video view Terramount Pro that is coming out. Now, I think the biggest takeaway will be in terms of weight. So let me just, um, highlights the weight matter here. Now, likely what we are seeing is still on the MB, MQB platform, and it's no surprise the wheelbase remain unchanged. 
but the longer body is likely to appeal to a size focus market like the US where everything big and long. Now, in every other measurement system that we've seen on this table, it is almost identical except for the weight that is 233 pounds heavier than the video view atlas that we have had. Okay, so basically that is the difference. Now, the specs provided here by the Chinese MIIT are for an all-wheel drive model. You can see that it has been stated at the back of this one. So this is a four PW four motion version, which is the all-wheel drive, but it's still a couple of hundred pounds heavier compared to the US spec Atlas. You can already tell that the new Atlas will be getting a giant center screen tablet that is just stuck there, looking like it doesn't even belong to the rest of the interior. Let me leave that at that try and touch on the power numbers as in the powertrain option that we are looking at so we can wrap and then we'll try as much as we can to update you the very moment these specifics become available so so another detail that has been published is the engine which is a solitary 268 horsepower that's a 2.0 liter turbo four cylinder engine which is similar to the engine that delivers 269 horsepower and 273 pound foot of torque that is used on a 2024 US Atlas spec. Now, mind you that the two 2024 US spec Atlas actually dropped the VR6 engine here. Now, in China, the current 2024 Taramont has an available 2.5 liter V6 engine, but it remains uncertain whether this will carry over to the 2025 model that we are looking at. What we do know is that when it gets to the state side, you guys are getting more power as video view executives previously have emphasized more oomph when the next generation rolls out and arrives on your land so this is basically the info that we have and we will update the very moment we've got updated information so like alex earlier stated kindly subscribe if you haven't a thumbs up will be greatly appreciated guys thank you so much have a good great day until mid same time again bye bye